Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you. India overtakes China as most populous country, reveals UN report. Residents in Balochistan's Quetta are fed up due to no electricity. And Nepal's president flown to Indian capital for medical treatment. And now for all the details. India on Wednesday surpassed China to become the most populous country, data released by the United Nations Population Fund has revealed. In its State of World Population Report 2023, the UN body estimates India's population at 1.4286 billion against 1.4257 billion for China. The world body has also projected India will overtake China with almost 3 billion more people in the middle of this year. But the report did not specify a date for when the change would take place. Indian government data shows the country's annual population growth has averaged 1.2% since 2011, compared with 1.7% in the 10 years previously. Experts say India now has a demographic advantage, young population in a consumer-driven economy, which will be a major factor in driving the country's development. In the midst of growing tension and unrest in Sudan, India is collaborating with various countries to ensure the safety of its nationals. India's Foreign Minister S.J. Shankar on Tuesday spoke with his counterparts in Saudi Arabia and the UAE and both countries have assured support. The Indian government has also established a dedicated control room in New Delhi. Sudan has been witnessing deadly fighting between the country's army and a paramilitary group for the last six days over a proposed timeline for handing over power to a civilian government. The violence has reportedly left around 200 people dead. The Indian embassy on Sunday said an Indian national also died in Khartoum after sustaining bullet injuries. A landslide during a thunder and lightning storm on the main road through northwest Pakistan's Khyber Pass buried more than 20 trucks on Tuesday, killing at least three people with dozens more fear trapped. Government officials believe at least 20 to 25 containers were buried in the wreckage. The landslide took place on the main route connecting Pakistan with landlocked Afghanistan, a major transit point for trade between the South Asian nations and into Central Asia. Reports suggest two Afghan citizens were among those killed and authorities were trying to recover the bodies. Three other people had been taken to hospital and the number of casualties was expected to rise further. Residents of Sarya bin Balochistan are living in darkness due to absence of electricity in the area for over 20 days. They blame despite paying money to government officials, the issue is not being resolved. A report. Residents of Sarya bin Balochistan's provincial capital, Quetta, are fed up as they are facing extreme difficulties due to absence of electricity in their area for over 20 days. They blamed officials from Pakistan's Wapda, the Water and Power Development Authority, have failed to fix the defective transformer in their area despite taking expenses from them for fixing it. They said their frustration has grown as no public representative is interested in solving the issue. Yes, sir, 20 days फिर उसके बाद ये चार पांच दिन से ले गए हैं ट्रांसफार्मर अभी नहीं ला रहे हैं 
चंदा भी किए हम लोगों ने बिल भी हमारे जमा है फिर उसके बाद भी हमारे साथ ये ना इंसाफी कर रहे ना जैसी ये सारा इलाका सारा अंधेरे में घूम रहा है बिल्कुल बिल भी हम लोग जमा करते हैं टैक्स जमा करते हैं चंदा इसलिए जमा करते हैं वापडा वाले खुद आते हैं कि हमें कुछ ना कुछ जो हम लोग इतना पेट्रोल खर्च करके यहाँ पर आते हैं किसी को बोतल पिलाओ किसी को चाय पिलाओ चाय पाड़ी लेकर जाते हैं फिर भी काम नहीं करते Locals say Balochistan is resource rich but remains neglected in terms of development with standards of living and social indicators lagging substantially behind the rest of Pakistan. The United Nations Development Program UNDP has informed that Afghanistan's economy will contract, inflation will rise and liquidity will fall if there's a 30% drop in international aid as feared. Officials say aid to Afghanistan, the recipient of the world's largest humanitarian program, will drop sharply this year as donors assess global crisis and because of restrictions on female aid workers imposed by the Taliban administration. UNDP said per capita annual incomes could fall to $306 in 2024 and place the country among the poorest in the world. Afghanistan's humanitarian aid plan is only 5% funded for 2023 with 251 million dollars committed out of 4.6 billion dollars requested. Taliban officials have said their decision on female aid workers are an internal issue and that foreign governments should reduce restrictions and unfreeze central bank assets to alleviate the economic crisis. Nepal's president Ram Chandra Pordel was flown on Wednesday to Indian capital New Delhi to seek advance treatment for chest and abdominal problems at the premier Ames Hospital. 78-year-old Pordel spent 5 days this month in the TU Teaching Hospital in Kathmandu after complaining of a chest problem. Vice President Ram Sahai Yadav will stand in for Pordel while he is away a presidential spokesperson said. A senior leader of Nepali Congress Party Pordel was elected as the Himalayan nation's third president in March amid a bitter crisis in then ruling coalition. The coalition split after Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dehel supported Pordel and opposition candidate for the post. Tourists throng museum and iconic monuments in India in large numbers on the occasion of the World Heritage Day on Tuesday. The day is observed with an aim to create awareness among the people for the conservation of cultural heritage across the world. Indians and tourists thronged iconic monuments including the famed Monument of Love, the Taj Mahal in Agra and the Red Fort in New Delhi to celebrate the World Heritage Day on Tuesday despite heat wave like conditions. World Heritage Day is annually observed on 18th April with an aim to create awareness among the people for the conservation of cultural heritage across the world. I have this great experience today to see Taj Mahal in the beautiful India and the beautiful weather. And then my daughter she's here as well. It's her 27th birthday, so it's a good birthday gift to bring her here to Taj Mahal on World Heritage Day. और मुझे ये भी अच्छा लगा कि वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज डे के दिन लाइक टिकट्स भी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट थी लाइक मतलब हमें पे नहीं करना पड़ा एंड आई रियली होप कि फंडिंग इंक्रीज हो लाइक ऐसी साइट्स की मीन वाइल्ड स्कूल चिल्ड्रन वो ऑल्सो टेक इन टू म्यूजियम्स एंड ऑन हेरिटेज वॉक्स इन डिफरेंट सिटीज टू ऑब्जर्व द डे एंड स्प्रेड अवेयरनेस अबाउट द कल्चरल हिस्ट्री एंड हेरिटेज The first World Heritage Day was observed in 1983 after it was established in 1982 by the International Council on Monuments and Sites which later got accepted by the UN General Assembly. The day is celebrated with a different theme every year. The theme for 2023 was Heritage Changes. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India breaking news and views from India